Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. In today's vlog, I'm going to show you a really simple trick that you can do to help you in choosing what colors you need for your painting. The scratchy sound that you're hearing in the camera, I decided yesterday that I needed hermit crabs, because that's normal. But I have my tank set up with the hermit crabs on my desk, sitting basically directly behind the camera, so I can't even imagine how bad the audio is gonna be in this, because they are moving around like crazy right now. Also, if any of you guys have hermit crabs, let me know in the comments below, where do you get your shells? Because right now they're in those ugly painted ones, and I'd like to get some natural ones in a bigger variety for them, but all the ones that I'm finding in the pet stores are either way too big or way too small for them. Captain Jack Sparrow here would really appreciate a less flamboyant shell. Mo okay, moving on to the point of today's vlog. Those of you who are following me on some of the social media sites, you have seen that I'm working on a colored pencil portrait for Wednesday's video of this photo. Now, I've already used Photoshop to adjust the lighting and skin and all that how I want it, so that's already set how I want. But when you're choosing your color, a lot of you have told me that you're having a hard time blending color or choosing knowing which color to use for skin tones and anything really. Anytime you're having a hard time choosing what paint or pencil color you need, this is going to make your life so much easier. And this can be done on most photo editors. I've done it using Autodesk Sketchbook Pro on my tablet and on my phone when I was showing students how easy it is to choose colors this way, but we're going to be using Photoshop 7 to, to pick our colors. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open a new project. It doesn't really matter what size. I just want it in a little box. So I've opened my project. I'm going to add a new layer fill or new fill layer, whatever. I want a solid color. This pulls up a color picker box that has a little dropper. And what I can do, any area on this piece that I'm working on, if I can't figure out what color I need to use for the side of her head here, I can use the dropper and just point at it and it'll show me on the color picker. You can see exactly where on the color wheel that is. It's a reddish, kind of orangey brown. It's pretty dark. It just gives you a general idea of what that actual color is. And now I can see it in a large box, which makes it really, really easy when I'm trying to mix that color or I'm looking for the colored pencil that is that shade, it's just so easy to see which color that I need. This is especially handy because so often the color that we see as something, like her eyes for example, when I look at that she's got blue eyes so I'm going to use a blue pencil. Seems simple enough, right? But what's happening is her eyes aren't blue, they're gray and brown, believe it or not, because the colors that are on, on her face around her eyes, there's so much orange in this that it's giving her the illusion that her eyes have more blue in it and in this photo they don't. So I can use the eyedropper and just touch different areas. You can see the different tones of grays and browns in her eyes. The eye on the right, where it's lighter, it's a lighter gray, but it's still gray. There is no blue whatsoever in this. It is all gray and all brown. So this is just an example of where we think a shade is gonna be a certain color and it's so far off. Using this just makes it really easy for choosing which color that you're gonna need. This is also helpful on hair. A lot of people think blonde hair use yellow. It's not yellow at all. In her hair, it's either gonna be gray, there's a light gray for the lighter areas, She's got some yellow ochre, but most, most of this is going to be different shades of brown and gray in her hair. And so this makes it really easy when I'm mixing and I'm choosing which pencil that I need to use. In this case, I am working in colored pencil. I can choose which pencil I need very, very easily by using this eyedropper to see what air, what color it is in that area. It's a handy tool for choosing your colors. And when you're, if you're doing this in Photoshop, you don't have to make a new layer every time you're trying to figure out what color it is. If I've closed out my little color picker tool, whatever, all I'm gonna do is double click on the little box here where for my layer thumbnail and it's gonna pull it right back up at least in Photoshop 7 I'm not sure how newer Photoshop programs work but yeah so pretty easy and this is going to be Wednesday's video I'm doing a tutorial showing you guys how I blend skin tone and draw hair on in colored pencil I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings and drawings I have my own speed paintings drawings and tutorials every Wednesday and vlogs most weekends so please subscribe and follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram Tumblr any of those social media sites links below in the video description to keep up with news and my newest work